For the North End legends from Winnipeg, baseball is a family affair. Corey Raven's grandfather founded the North End legends decades ago. Now, he manages the team that features relatives who live in the city. And it's an important way for Corey to stay connected to the man who inspired his love of the diamond. It makes me proud, you know, just knowing my grandfather's up there watching us, still playing ball. I'm a little older now these days, but I still try and still play, and I actually get to enjoy my kids playing ball. And um, seeing my team playing ball every time we hit the field is just great, great, great feeling. But Indigenous people's history in baseball stretches back a long time. Break as Gene Hurst third with a spectacular slide. Way back in 1947, Jackie Robinson broke Major League Baseball's color barrier when he became the first black man to play professional baseball for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson with a run that beats the Yanks. I would just like to say that I was really just a spoke in the wheel of the success that we had some 25 years ago. But another spoke in the wheel of success is Louis Sock Alexis, who actually debuted about 50 years before Robinson did. He was from the Penobscot Indian tribe in Maine. And all accounts published in the newspapers of the day show Sock Alexis was a heck of a baseball player, even before he went pro. A newspaper clipping from the Boston Post Sun recounted one game from the summer of 1895, when Sock Alexis chased after a line drive that was hit into left field. The ball hit the ground so far from home plate, it would have been an easy home run for the Harvard team if Sock Alexis wasn't the player chasing the ball down. Roughly two years later, Sock Alexis was approached by the ownership of the Cleveland Spiders, and he signed a major league contract. His rookie season saw the most success. He hit 338 with three home runs and nine triples, while stealing 16 bases over just 66 games. 2-2 two -two to Daniels, strike three call. But over 125 years after Sock Alexis' debut, Indigenous baseball players are still breaking through barriers. In 2023, Caleb Thomas from Six Nations was the first Indigenous player named to Baseball Canada's junior national roster. One, two pitch here, check swing and... Thomas says he wants to pitch in the major leagues one day. He's currently playing for the NCAA Division I Missouri State Bears. My involvement with baseball started ever since I could walk. It's been like my whole life and I've used it as a platform to like be a role model for the younger generation and use it like to motivate other kids to play any sports, whether that be baseball, lacrosse, whatever it may be. I found they just used my platform to just promote healthy being and just being active and following dreams. One thing that Thomas says he's learned in his years playing baseball, the amount of indigenous talent that exists in the game today. I didn't realize there were so many like talented other indigenous baseball players who deserve the chance to be looked at and recognized. And I just think baseball is growing more and more each year in the indigenous communities. And I, I think it's like wonderful to see that. I know like uh, hockey and lacrosse are the biggest sports, but I think it's just great to see there's people expanding their horizons and trying other sports and hopefully making a name for themselves one day. A list created by Baseball Almanac, which compiles baseball stats, facts, and history shows just 52 Native Americans played in the major leagues, including Sock Alexis. But like Thomas, more are trying to get there. Winnipeg's Bryce Raven from Broken Head Ojibwe Nation in Manitoba is one of them. He participated in the most recent North American Indigenous Games with Team Manitoba and brought back the gold medal in the under-19 category. Bryce knows one of his favorite players, former Boston Red Sox and New York Yankee Jacoby Ellsbury, identifies as Native American. Bryce and Ellsbury are both natural left-handers, and Bryce says he hopes to one day play in the major leagues like Ellsbury did. I want to go to college somewhere. I hope when I go back to juniors and after this season, I hope to get offers as, as far as it takes me. Like if it's done after college and just come back and play with family again. Bryce says he thinks a good way for the game to grow among indigenous people is seeing more events like training camps hosted on reserve or in indigenous communities. Three cheers. For Bryce, baseball is a passion with potential to be so much more. 
if he's willing to put the work into it. It's a great feeling and it's it's something that he needs to do is uh, kind of break away from the family team, Northern Legends, which is something he needs to do. Get back into school, get get back into the college and start playing hard, hardball again and get, a, get away from this game right now and back into the AAA hardball and college ball. And it's it, it's kind of a good feeling, but a little sad because he's got to go away. Corey says he's sad he may not play baseball with his son anymore on the North End Legends, but he's happy to see him become a legend in his own right, alongside other Indigenous trailblazers like Sock Alexis. Brian Enius, CBC Indigenous, Winnipeg.